Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got my keto grocery haul. This is going to feed me protein-wise probably for the next two weeks, and I'll show you. Could be two and a half, just depending. Um, I got some hard salami. I think I'll have some meats and cheeses for breakfast this week. So salami and cheddar pepper jack. I just cube it up, take a piece of salami, a couple pieces of that, and life is good. I picked up some bacon. I have one pack in the fridge. I want to cook all this up, have it in my freezer so I can do quick wraps or some type of sandwich with the bacon. Um, two pounds of butter. I'm going to do some baking for myself and my family. So I'm starting to stock up on butter. Two boxes of stevia. Again, I haven't gotten to Costco to get my big bag of sugar but for baking, but this will work in a pinch. Um, somebody just rang my doorbell, but I think it's Amazon. I got three bottles of this sparkling water. It's good. I like it. Um, three creamers for my coffee. One generally goes to work. Two for home. Depending. If I'm cooking and things, then I get more. Um, this already shredded Parmesan cheese for cooking with. And then I grabbed this Parmesan cheese because it's a guilty pleasure. Yes, I know it's not the best, but I love it. A uh, dozen eggs. I'm also going to boil up to keep in my fridge. It'll probably go for breakfast and who knows what else. One avocado. I'm going to try letting it get ripe and freezing it and see what happens. You know, slicing it and freezing it. Because I hate wasting an avocado, but there's no way I can eat a whole one. There's that. I'm making some chili. So I got some breakfast sausage because I love the seasoning in it. So I'm going to make a beef and pork chili. So I grabbed a pound of that and I'll pull a pound of ground beef out of my freezer. <gasps> Look what I found, guys. Bone broth. It was $2.99 and it is so clean. This is perfect. I have some noodles in there. If I get sick or something, this is great. I'm going to start buying one a week to stock up. I can make my own, absolutely, but it's $2.99 and there's no, hess, no fuss, no muss. I'm hoping they come with a beef, but for right now, chicken it is. Beef broth for my chili, and then I will freeze what's left because I don't think I will be consuming this whole 32 ounces with that. And then for chili, I got a tomato paste and a tomato sauce. I haven't made the chili, so I can't tell you that I have a recipe, but I will show you when I make it. I'm winging it. A little bit of tomato paste, a little tomato sauce, some beef broth, that's going to be it. Tomatoes have a lot of carbohydrates in them. This, this is concentrated, so... Uh, let's see, where is it at? Seven carbs for, ooh, can you see it? Seven carbs for two tablespoons. That's a lot, but I'm making a big batch. So you have to take that into consideration. And this, which is just some um, sauce, a quarter of a cup has um, four carbs. And in here, this is eight ounces. So there's four servings or three and a half servings in this container so that would be if I put this whole thing in there that would be 12 14 carbs so between this and this 14 and 7 that's what 21 carbs if I use this whole can and two tablespoons of that but there's nothing in the broth and there should be nothing in the sausage or beef so 21 carbs it sounds like a lot but it's for an entire pot that's how you have to look at it when you're cooking. I hope that makes sense. Oh, did I show you my my beef rib pork roast? I did not. These were on special. I don't I don't know when. Last week, this week. It says weekly fresh meat special. Um, but this is just pork, and this was four dollars. It was two point seven one pounds. It was a dollar forty nine a pound, guys. This is stock up stuff here pork roast stick it in your crock pot with some salt and pepper and just let it go for hours on end and it is like amazing I should have bought more than one but maybe I'll go back who knows all right so that is everything for today I'm getting ready to leave the house it's 9 55 I'm leaving the house at 11 to go down to the yarn festival so maybe I'll take some footage down there and then I'm coming back to cook and I need a shower <laughs> I'll be back all right, guys, I'm making the chili. This is a pound of breakfast sausage. I just love the flavor. 
So there's some pork and then there's a pound of just straight ground beef. I'm bringing this up, just kind of cooking it down. We'll see how much fat is in here if I need to drain a little bit once it's all cooked. And then I'm adding just some chili powder, uh, tomato paste, tomato sauce, a little bit of each. And then um, I'm gonna add chicken broth or beef broth to it. You wanna watch your beef broth. All they have a their brand and it has sugar in it, but the organic does not. So it's a little more expensive, like 30 cents more, but totally worth it to me. In the oven, I have some bacon cooking. I'm cooking up two pounds, oh, sorry, two pounds of bacon. I'm gonna make some bacon lettuce sandwiches for some days and some chili for others. And then I'll freeze some as well, so I'll have some for the next week. Back here, I made just my pumpkin recipe. Um, it's cooling. Then I'm going to flip them out on a rack and stick them in the oven and let them kind of dry out a little bit. It's actually a pumpkin muffin recipe. Uh, the woman whose channel I got it from is listed below. It's Cooking Keto with Christy. And her, um, yeah, her channel is below. This is where I got the pumpkin recipe. I use it a lot. I like it. Um, yeah. And so the, the breakfast I finished ended up being hard boiled eggs, four slices of salami, and some cheese. That's usually a go-to breakfast for me. It's super easy. So I'm just going to let this meat cook. I'll bring you back when I add some seasoning. I'm going to add and taste, add and taste because the pork is seasoned. I froze the rest of this in two tablespoon servings. Um, and this is two tablespoons left. So that'll go in. And then I have one can. It's an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. So as soon as all this is cooked, I will add all of the um, tomato products and let them cook down for a little bit before I add too much seasoning because I kind of want to see what this sausage is going to do to the, um, to the flavor. I don't want it too hot, but you definitely want that smoky cumin. I have straight cumin, so if I think it's going to be too spicy, I'll just put some cumin and onion powder in it and skip the chili. But we'll see. Right now, that looks pretty good. It's almost cooked. So we're just going to let that go for a minute. I need to flip my trays of bacon here in a second. I've got two in the oven and one getting ready to go in. And then I can show you how we finish off the chili. All right, I did end up draining just a little bit of the grease off of it. I just don't want too much. I don't, it's not palatable to me. But you do you. There's plenty of fat in here still. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to do the two tablespoons of paste. Now, I'm going to let this cook for a while. I am just not a fan of the raw tomato of any variety. So I will let this cook for several hours down, really. One can of the tomato sauce. And that's really it for the tomato that I'm adding. The rest is going to be beef broth. And honestly, it just depends. I don't know how much I'll be putting in here. But for now, depends how thick or thin you want your chili. I think my neighbor's cooking too. I can hear the condo next door. Like that's too thick for me. Oops, sorry. So I'll put a little more in. Now when this cooks, it is going to reduce. And you'll get more of that beefy flavor. And you know, I could have put a little, could have put a little more tomato in here. But I honestly don't want um, all the extra carbohydrate, to be honest with you. So to me, that was enough of a tomato flavor. We're going to let this cook for a little while, and then I will taste it for seasoning. But I really want this to kind of go low and slow. So I'll probably give it just a little more chicken broth, or chicken broth, beef stock, beef broth, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm just going to kind of let it do its thing here on the stove. Let the flavors blend and let it reduce and get that tomatoey. 
that tomatoey taste out of there. And then we'll figure out what kind of seasonings that we want. I turned out my donuts back here. This is what they look like right now. When the bacon comes out, I'm going to put the oven down and put those in and just let them dry out a little bit. I like them a little more firm. And if I cook them at a higher temperature longer, it just will burn. It won't firm up, if that makes sense. All right, let's see if I can taste this now and see what it tastes like. Mmm. Yeah, it's definitely going to need seasoning, for sure. Don't ask. I'm just pouring it in. Now, that has to obviously cook in. I won't even touch that for a while. That was probably a tablespoon. But that's how I'm going to roll, is a tablespoon at a time. Because I don't want, you know, to over-season it. But I also need to cook out that tomato flavor. All right. And I might make some keto cornbread later in the week to eat with that. We'll see. But for right now, I just have bacon cooking in the oven. There's my bacon on standby, the last of the bacon. I've already switched the top and the bottom racks. So I'm cooking two at a time. I'm cooking it on 325 as well. I'm trying to render some more of the fat out of it. This is thick cut bacon and I like it a little crispy. So I'm cooking it lower and longer. If that makes sense. All right, I have got housework to do here guys and I will be back for some more cooking. All right, chili is done. I like mine, like I said, a little thicker, uh, but there's some good sauce in there. Um, I don't know that I would make it again with the breakfast sausage. It's okay, but I definitely want more of a chili flavor. So we'll just get plain ground beef and maybe a sausage, a plain sausage the next time, but that's okay. And most of my bacon is done. This is the reason I bake it. Look how flat that is. Isn't that perfect to make a sandwich? I, oops, I think I have my last little bit ready to come out. Yeah, we get the last of the bacon, and this is what it looks like on the pan. And like I said, this is on 325. That's going to cool. Turning the oven off, and I'm going to put these donuts in to try to dry them out just a little bit. And then out of two pounds of bacon, I've got this much grease plus a little bit more. Um, bacon grease is great to like cook with and to really use as a good fat source on keto if you are into such a thing. Now, um, I don't mind, this is a little undercooked for me, but the thing is I plan on microwaving it when I um, make my sandwich. And then the last thing I do before I wash this pan, and I just have this glass jar. Uh, bacon grease is great. You don't have to refrigerate it, although you can. I just leave mine on the counter. Now this bacon here is the Aldi Fit Cut, and it really did not render much fat at all. That's why I cooked it on 325 instead of 350. But this is like liquid gold, folks. It just brings such a great flavor to really everything. So I'm gonna package up my bacon. I'm gonna put it in zip, uh, not zip. I'm gonna put it in um, saran wrap for my freezer so that when I want a sandwich, I can just grab that, grab some lettuce, and make a sandwich. Heat it up in the microwave. Uh, I'll leave a couple days in the fridge. And then uh, I'm going to package up my chili, see how many containers I can get out of this for the fridge and the freezer as well. So I'll be back once I have everything packaged up. Well, we're at the end of our day. It's 549. I've been in and out. Um, so this did not take this long to cook, but here's some of my lunches for the week. I have that chili. I got four of these containers out of two pounds of meat and some spices and a little bit of tomato and broth. 
Um, on that, this day, I'm going to have some shredded cheese with it and some sour cream. And I'll probably dip it with some pork rinds. I mean, just because. Unless I choose to make some keto cornbread. Tomorrow's lunch, I have pork rinds for lunch. I have some mayonnaise in here. And I made a... Um, bacon and cheese and lettuce wrap. I don't like tomato. So it's not a BLT. It's a BCT. No, BC, BLC. Bacon, lettuce, and cheese on that. And I'll put a little mayonnaise for some added fat and some pork rinds. This week for breakfast, I made cheese. It's like an adult lunchable. A couple hard-boiled eggs, some cheese, and some, ugh, some salami. Um, I'm heading on a road trip in a couple weeks, and I will definitely be packing... A few of this type thing to eat in the car um here's the bacon how i wrap it it's just going to go in the freezer if i want i did make two sandwiches so two days this week i'll have sandwiches and three days i will have chili for lunch and then there are my pumpkin spice donuts um they dried up a little bit which is nice so they have a little more donut consistency and less of a muffin consistency um i have those in here and i put three in the freezer for my trip coming up that way i'll have a treat and then i'll make some peanut butter cookies for i have a we're going to new jersey and it's an eight hour drive and we're going on a friday and coming back saturday night so i need to just have my food prepared and in the car for us and i'll bring you along on that little road trip so this is it. This is my week's worth of breakfast and lunches. I have five of those Tupperwares in the fridge for the week. And then I'll switch between chili and sandwiches. All right, guys. I hope these are helpful. And you have a great week. Bye.